Alrighty, welcome back everybody to Star Wars Lit Cubes Universe 4X3. It has been a little bit of a hot minute. I do plan on trying to uh, get my scheduling back up uh, to snuff. So hopefully Mondays and Fridays we'll have uh, X3 again. I know I kind of, kind of, you know, got off there for a while. But I, I just need to remember that once I'm done with this series, I don't have to do another campaign. I'll, I'll test out updates and stuff, but other than that, I just, I, I have to beat the game once. I, I just, I'm not sure if there's an end credit sequence or whatever, but don't spoil it for me, I swear. Anyways, so as you can see, what we're headed Ota to right now shipyard. is this Ota shipyard where I did get two Allegiant Star Shores. I know last, uh, I think it was the, the stream we did it. Yeah, because we were trying to get the Empire to like us, uh, which took forever. Um... But I bought two. One we're going to uh, fully equip at our do at our headquarters, and the other we are going to reverse engineer. Uh, so then I will automatically have one right out of the gate, rather than having to wait and build one and use up resources and stuff. So uh, that's just how that's going to work out. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I have a couple things I want to get done today, but uh, we're just going to do this just to start off. Give them each um, a little bit of a little bit of juice, so they can get back to our headquarters. And we'll give them each the jump drive. Eh, we don't give that. Uh, jump drive. Hyperdrive. There it is. Jump drive. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just have them both. Uh, well, I guess we can go to um, Unknown Sector now. They'll come down here. They'll they'll be happy. Hopefully they don't like explode upon um, leaving the, the dockyard. That'd be kind of unfortunate. Command accepted. See what happens. Are they going to explode each other? Look at these monsters. So these are, uh, this is what I'm kind of planning to be our, like, our main flagship for fleets or whatever. Um, is the Allegiance Battlecruiser. Um, I, I think it'll be pretty cool. And it looks like it's a, it's, I know it's got some firepower for it, that's for sure. I, know, I don't think it's the best capital, like, main capital ship in the game. I think the MC-90 might have it beat. Um, but, you know, you, you never know. Is it? Are they going to ever jump, or are they just thinking about jumping? Oh, there I am. I'm going to stop so I can, so I don't crash into the station. There, there's, there's me right up in here. Are they, are they going to jump? I does, does not, don't not see so. Uh, what's type? Oh, you're trying to get away from each other. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Once you, once you get a little space, they should separate. Uh, I don't even know what they're doing. They're okay. I can tell that these guys are gonna be fun to maneuver. All right, you you, you get you got enough space yet, pals? Jeez, okay, that took forever. All right, so they are both um <clears throat> they're both gonna jump back to the headquarters, no and we'll way. well actually we'll have to go back to headquarters okay. anyways because I have a couple of. Um, tasks I want to get done. So no, I have not gotten uh, the dock agent set up just yet. Um, I need to do a couple like small errands before I uh, do those. Um, first up, I need to get um, laser towers set back up because uh, um, oh, we already got a whole oh, we already got a whole bunch here. Okay, um, because as you as you're you're well aware of, um, my my sectors are constantly under attack at the moment. Uh, and it's it's really it was kind of funny at first it was kind of like hee hee hoo hoo on, but it's starting to get really annoying um and so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump down to mist of no no shh, shh, shh. we're going to go down to mist of elysium and because there's also like a whole bunch of new republic uh ships that are here too that are just it's just yucky no one no one likes them no one likes the new republic they're trash if you like them you're boring and dumb Entering system. Mists of All right, I'm going to drop down one Advanced of these, satellite. and then I'm going to order this fella uh, real quick. Actually, I might do this. Uh, collect wares Command real quick. Accepted. Just grab up all those, Command whatever accepted. is there. They all should just start disappearing. There's a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, I get all, get all that stuff. Maybe we can sell it somewhere. Oh, wow. It's, oh, gosh, it's like, stacked up. It's beautiful though, glorious. Yeah, pick up all the goodies. Are you, are you full? Oh my God! Did you just did you are you full? No, you can't be full. Uh, 
No, you're not full. Well, regardless, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to this guy's freight, and I'm going to drop one, th uh, maybe, maybe less than that, because I don't want the game to crash. We'll drop 500 uh, laser towers down. We'll see how that works, because the previous garrison that was here was uh, 100, and um, uh, we'll drop 501. And that should do it. Yep, and so it's going to take a little bit for those to activate, um, but hopefully, hopefully it should. Um, let's see, they all just oh, there's that just that massive cloud. And the good news is the um, New Republic will be attracted to them, like kind of like flies to like I don't know a, a rotting deer carcass. Sure, I'll just use that analogy. Probably other ones I could use. Um, so that's the first little errand. I need to do the same thing now to. Uh, uh, what you might call its place as well. Uh, I think it's Great Reef. Yeah, Great Reef is just an absolute mess as well. Uh, the the New Republic are just awful. And I think what I want to do as well is I want to get. Uh, I think I want to give all of these um, these these uh, these Starliner equipment docks or whatever. I want to give them all um, different names based on what is here. Uh, for instance, uh, like, I don't know, maybe I want more Imperial Escort carriers, or like, maybe maybe I'll just have, like, one named, you know, Starliner Dreadnought, so we know that the Dreadnoughts are there, or, I don't know, something, something like that. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I just need to have dock agents come by and figure out what they need. I, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, things that I need to figure out when it comes to my, my stations, um, I'm trying to make them better, but these McCallums were a waste of money. I uh, I do realize that now uh, because you can fit as many ships as you want. Like of the big and fighter and freighter, you can fit as many as you want. So really, this was a stupid idea. Although I could, if I wanted for some unknown reason, I could have like, I don't know, fighters or something. But see, that doesn't, it still doesn't make sense. So I think I might sell these McCallums if I ever like get into like a... I don't know, a rut, because there's, there's no reason for me to use them. And what's in here? Oh, is this where all the, oh, this is where all those guys are at. Well, how about, we could, we could start purging a couple of these dudes. Eh, I don't really feel like it, though. They're fine. I just need a, I just need a, I think I'm going to put uh, a couple laser towers up here and a couple right over here at the, at the gates. And those should prevent anyone, any, anyone that I don't like from doing bad things. Anyways, so we're going to take uh, these, these little Allegiant Star Destroyers and we're going to tell them to go dock up at the headquarters for processing. And that's another thing as well. Something I, I'm going to have to do. Oh my god, who's. Oh, it's just a drone. Um, something I'm going to have to do is soon. Maybe, maybe I just. I'm going to have to just sit down one day. Maybe this will happen on Friday. I'm not even sure if I'll give you like a real episode, but I will probably just show you all of my like my things i'll try to work on it over the week um but it, i want to reorganize my entire supply network over here because it, it is functional right now like that's not that's not the problem it's just it's uh it's it's not efficient at all plus also now that i've made like i think i've maxed out my energy supply if i go into headquarters here um, where are we at? Where's energy cells? Yeah, we're very close. I think the maximum we can have is like 553 million or no. Oh, we could still get some more. I wonder what the maximum is. It does maybe 600 million. I, w I would believe 600 million, but we're, we're very close to that already. And I don't think, well, it's a lie. If I say, I don't think we'll ever reach that point, but, um, I would like to get more, um, dock agents or, or station traders to start giving me more, some more wealth because I mean, well, I still have, I have 15 billion, you know, credits. That's, that's fantastic. I do have a lot of stuff in my headquarters that I think I've already set up. Like if I go to, I know this is not what I, probably what the episode title says, but well, it's my episode. Um, well, what the hell? Why do we have so many landed ships? Oh yeah. Cause we have a lot of, uh, lighter, lighter fighters and stuff that are, they need homes. And I, I, I just don't feel like I'm not going to do that today. Maybe I'll do it in my off time, but actually, no, maybe that's what I should today. I should outfit the fleet. There we go. Got it. Um, but yeah, the headquarters, there's a lot of stuff in here that just doesn't need to well, exist. And I need to get rid of it. I, I want to clean up my headquarters. So I think if I just have a massive amount of station traders and agents and whatever doing things, 
Um, I think I think everything would be just 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 hunky dory. Also, I did see that uh, these guys all need to be repaired. Plus, also, I need to figure out my like what my carriers are going to be carrying and uh, who's going to do what and whatnot. We have a hundred star XG star wings, which is cool, and a bunch of tie bombers, which I need to get set up. I think the XG star wings I still have yet to do so. Um, so what I think is going to happen now that I'm kind of lost my train of thought and I just kind of want to, uh, wanted to give a kind of like an update or whatever. Um, while the Allegiant Star or Star Destroyers get back to base, um, I might go through, I, yeah, I think I'll go through the headquarters and I'm going to give, um, each of these, uh, was these fighters, these ships, these, the bombers or whatever, I'm going to get some templates set up. Um, so and then I'll let you know, I'll show them off or whatever and I uh, get the allegiance uh, set up as well And maybe maybe if you're lucky if you if you hit that like button and you know, you subscribe or whatever uh, Maybe we might go mm, Shining currents looks like I want to get rid of it. I don't like shining current. It looks stupid So maybe we'll take out a we'll take out a system today You know, you know, we'll just you know, we'll just mosey on in and just take out a system I think I think that'll go just just absolutely splendidly Alrighty, so uh, I didn't know how long it was gonna take because I thought it would take like it'd be rather simple, but wow, was I take forever. So um, what I thought was gonna be about 20 minutes, it's been oh, what's the recording at? Oh, about an hour. So I think we're gonna have to cut it here because I I thought I'd have more time than this. But uh, what's gonna end up happening is let's I guess I can just show you what I've done. Uh, so. If we go into the headquarters here, I will show you what we got. So the Allegiant Star Destroyer. Um, and actually, before we even do this, there was one last little, little tiny bit of thing I wanted to see if I could potentially put on because I am producing them. Yeah. Um, see, yeah, no, I would like to give the Allegiant Star Destroyer. How many was I going to put it? I was going to put them on the back. As you can see, we got photon artillery arrays and electroplasma cannons, but um, I wanted to put, um, I think I want to put them, what are they, the singularities, right? Yeah, point singularity projectors. I'll put it on, I'll put a grouping of them on the up turrets here. So uh, we're just going to quickly go down here real quick. Uh, and I want to see what they look like too. So maybe I might might get a test firing today. Um, so we're gonna give them eight, and then we're just going to go to uh, advanced weapons. And we go down to I think it's the up, right? It's not down or anything. It's uh, not, so that's right. Um, there it is. We'll trade these uh, electromagnetic guns for the O. Oh, Unless I can't. Well, never mind then. Well, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> and so we'll just put those away. We pretend like we never, uh, we never touched those. Okay. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just pretend like they just don't exist. I thought we could attach them, but apparently not. So. Okay. So let me just go through this stuff so I can go to bed here. So we've got the Allegiant Star Destroyer, which is outfitted with 13 2 gigajoule shields. Uh, this 200 megajoule should actually be gone. I'm not sure. Huh. Well, these better, these are the ones that are um, in, right? I mean, yeah, okay, so I don't know why there's that one 200 megajoule, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, we've got the uh, photon artillery arrays. We've got, I believe, if I go back into the freight, this is probably be the easiest way to do it. Uh, we have 24 electromagnetic plasma cannons, 2,000 energy cells, 56 uh, photon artillery arrays, 1,000 poltergeist missiles, and 100 shadow missiles. Uh, even though I believe the... Uh, poltergeist are better than the shadow. No, no, it looks like this shadow is better. Um, so yeah, oh, I guess a bunch of, um, medium warheads and then 100, uh, heavy warheads. And then, you know, you got the usual, like, you know, bunch of installed ship components to make it a capital ship. And then we've got the Gladiator Star Destroyers, which I set up with, uh, this, uh, it's this amount of, um, energy cells. They're going to be restocked with 1,000 whenever they dock at a station with, well, 1,000 energy cells. Uh, they got gamma ray cannons because I thought they'd be much better suited along with the ghoul missiles uh, for anti-fighter duty because they're going to be carriers. And so uh, I thought I'd give them the, the good stuff. Uh, let's see here. We got them. We got the Lancer frigate set up. I believe we can go into freight here. Uh, we've got ourselves... Um, what is it? 200 megajoule shields. We got seven of them. 100. Uh, I was going to add more chaff. I think I'm going to do this post 
recording anyways. Um, we got 20 electromagnetic plasma cannons, more energy cells, and gamma ray cannons. And I believe I've got... They should be set. Oh, I don't have them set. Well, I'll have to go back again here because I'll just make the template. Yeah. Wait, I just told them to attack fighters, but I... And I hmm, maybe that was post-production. I don't know. I'll have to make sure when I go through here again, uh, these, like, all these ships are back up because i always forget stuff Command it'd be nice if i could just do it all in one go and we'd be good but you know what Command it's fine accepted. it's fine if it don't be like that sometimes okay i don't know why that one works anyways um so there's that we've got the lancer frigates all set up it's beautiful i finally got around to getting the raiders set up uh, i actually am pl flying a raider corvette right now but it was more of a custom fit one because i'm piloting it uh but then the standard raider corvette model is gonna have it's supposed to have 1000 energy cells i'm not sure what this 980 here um, two electromagnetic plasma cannons, seven 200 megahertz shields, uh, eight gamma rays and five photons, uh, and 500 sting ray, or sting missiles, uh, for some anti-fighter duty. Um, I don't really, there's, I mean, the, the Raider is essentially like a beefed up Lancer in this case, although the Lancer, I think, is more, um, focused. Yeah, well, it's 20 plasma guns. Jesus, how many, how many, um, turrets are there? Uh, there's three, and I think there's actually, what is it? Um... Oh, yeah, they got the five main, which is where the five gamma rays are, and then they've got three uh, turreted things with the electro uh, magnetic plasma cannons, which should be fine. Those will be good. Uh, and I think that's all there is for them. And then we go down here to the XG Starwing. Uh, oh, I made the template. Oh, I guess... Oh, oh yeah, I never got around because I kept switching so much. I'll have to go back through here again. But um, they're going to be simply outfitted with 25 mega Joe shields, uh, 8 electro plasma cannons, poltergeist missiles, and wasp missiles. And now something I did not know, these bad boys can pretty much carry every single missile that I would care about. Uh, I don't have most of these in production. I think, yeah, like I said, poltergeist missiles as well as... Um, uh, wasp missiles, so I think it's got a decent amount of firepower, and it can do what it wants. Maybe I might add a couple, you know, more, uh, like, like some different missiles to it. Uh, maybe some warheads if we pick them up. Um, but, uh, I think the XG Starwing's pretty good. It's honestly, I was kind of disappointed with the amount of firepower I thought it would have, because it's got the same amount of firepower, and I think, um, less shields than a Star Defender, or a uh, TIE Defender. So I don't know, um necessarily what's up with that um maybe it's the missiles that give it the the spice of life uh, as it were uh but then we you know we go in here to the freight and you can see we've got uh just like because i think the combat um software is already pre-installed so we don't really need any of that uh maybe well no we don't need a docking computer either do we need a docking computer for these guys no i think the d d docking transporter is what um we go to upgrade ship, like, let's just click on a random star wing here. Uh, the, the, um, or I guess we could just maybe pick this one. Uh, I guess we'll just go with you. Um, let's see, yeah, because the combat software is already automatically in there, but do we need a, do a docking computer? Uh, docking computer could be useful. I'll have to make sure I get that set up. I'll have to, I'll have to go to you. actually star wing one. Well, I'll just do this right now. Um, the video's already short enough, I might as well, uh, uh, you know, do a little, little bit more here. There it is, XG Starring 1. And I'll just add in that, uh, docking, that docking computer. I forgot about that. There we go, it's only 20k. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already spending so much. Why not a little bit more? Alright, so, that's all set up. We actually have as well, um, oh my goodness. I am maxed out on goods. Holy crap. I didn't know that was possible. Wow. Okie dokie then. So, uh, wow. I need to for sure get some docking. I need to also stop energy production because I think that kind of just sucked up all my space. Uh, but well, you know what's good is that we always have extras. Um, oh, as you can see here, we've got our uh, Legion Star Destroyer. It is currently uh, reverse engineering. And as you can see, it's been quite some time since I put it in. Uh, uh, it's, we were, was it took, it's going to take five hours. We had four hours and 47 minutes, um, left for it to, uh, reverse engineer. But once that's done, I think I'm going to have, I'm going to build a couple, not too many probably, but, um, just, just a few more. I, and I think to round it out, uh, cause I, 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 I misjudged the time it would take to do all this. Um, I think I've got everything set up more or less. 
I think I still need to add in some stuff when it comes to my uh, my bases here. I need to organize myself more. Hopefully on Friday I'll have a video for you where I I just get some dock agents set up. Uh, hopefully I know there's no combat in this episode. I do please forgive me, um, but uh, get some get some dock agents set up. I need to just sit down. I need to go through all of these traders. I need to just like send them back from whence they came. I need I need to get also maybe I should just purchase right now actually. Um, I'm gonna go purchase a, just a bunch of um, lambda shuttles because I need I need a trade. I need to get some of these these things out of my mind. Uh, lambda is it the lambda sentinel tanker that I want? I think that's the one I want to use. Yeah. I'm gonna build like oh I don't know just a few. Just a couple, you know, not not too many. I think I'll, yeah, well, you know, we'll just, we'll just go, we'll just start with this and see where that gets us. Um, but I, I need to, I need to, I need to make my economy a little bit more um, um, efficient. So that's where I think we're gonna leave off for today. I do apologize for um, not like no action for today. I, I guess I'll there we go. Shot my shot my weapons there. So now now we're even. Um, but it's all it's all in good time. I know I probably should have done this during a stream, and I know I haven't done X3 like I should be doing. I do feel bad. I'm going to try my best to um, do more of it. it. It mostly comes down to just me wanting to do other things. Like I recently got enlisted. Uh, I've been doing um, Kenshi, which I've really been enjoying. I'm doing that Total War series over on Twitch. Uh, you know, it's just... I, I have a lot more interests that are popping up now and now or now and then, but all I can tell you is that my goal is to beat this game once and never touch it again. Now, I don't know what the necessary end point is. I would assume it is uh, take out the OCV and then, I don't know, destroy all the shipyards and everyone else and, and watch them all die or something. So maybe that's what I got to do is if I actually want to beat the game, I just got to focus down in places and um, do that. I'm not even sure what a real win in the game looks like. Um, I just, uh, that's, that's, it's, we're, we're aiming to win. I want to beat, hopefully by the end of, like, I don't know, what episode is this, like 20 something, we'll have the New Republic completely decimated in the sector of the, the galaxy, and then maybe we can start, um, expanding outward, but, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for sticking around. I, I do apologize for, it's probably a shorter episode, probably no more than 20 minutes, especially with me talking, um, you know, hopefully there's more coming. I promise I'll try. I'll do my, I won't be able to promise anything, but I will do my best to start making X3 more regular again because I know people enjoy it and I haven't uh, been, been holding up my end of the bargain. So, you know, thank you for watching everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'll hit that like button, uh, just let me know that you still got some, still got some love for the X3 series. Comment something down below about maybe what I should have done with my, uh, my, my organization. And, you know, you should subscribe either here or you can follow me over on Twitch where I do a lot more, uh, I would say a little bit more fun stuff overall. Like this video is just more of kind of like a administration kind of, kind of deal, but ah, whatever, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to keep rambling on. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you in the next video.